Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 34, and we are on the home stretch for our series on smart plans. So one more video today, one more video tomorrow, and we will move on from here. So uh, next week we will get into designs for everybody that's been itching to get into designs. So uh, smart plans, again, fourth applet down, fourth submenu here, the icon that looks like a diploma. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the remaining four smart plans that we have not covered yet. So that is the eight by eight, birthday, open house follow-up, and home anniversary. Uh, quick disclosure, as of today, that's December 27th, 2019, the eight by eight smart plan has been um, disengaged, I guess, kind of, it does not allow you to assign contacts right now. There is an issue with regards to uh, Twilio and uh, timing of the texts going out. So I'm going to walk through this smart plan because I know labs will eventually get it fixed. And yet if you do attempt to assign somebody to this smart plan, it will not allow you. So the 8x8 is one of the larger smart plans. It is 15 steps that lasts 56 days and includes eight touches. If we click on the steps, you can see the first text that goes out uh, says something along the lines of, hey, it's Marty Muller. Uh, or, hey, Marty Miller, it's Marty Miller from uh, Summit Property Group. Would love to grab coffee sometime. Let me know what your schedule looks like in the next few days. This was the text that was causing me issues. Unfortunately, um, back when it was enabled, it was sometimes going out at 2, 3, 4, or 5 in the morning. Obviously not the best time to be sending somebody a text. So that's why this one has been temporarily disabled. Um, and yet, once that text was sent, it would wait seven days. It would then have you create some sort of email that might be along the lines of let's grab coffee or let's go have lunch or hey, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, wait seven more days, it's gonna send you a task to call this client. Wait seven more days and then it would send another automated text as you can see here. Uh, seven more days, it would prompt you to send out an email. Seven more days, prompt you to make another phone call. Seven days, it sends a text seven days and then another email to be sent out. So as soon as they get the Twilio issues fixed with the eight by eight, you'll be able to assign people to that smart plan. As I've said a couple of times right now, it is uh, disabled for the time being. The next smart plan is the birthday smart plan. So you can see that this is a six step, six day plan. You're like, wait, your birthday lasts for six days. I have friends that birthdays last for 30 days. And yet it's a six day plan because it warns you kind of six days out. So it has you actually send a handwritten note six days out, and then it waits four days. It reminds you to send them a phone call kind of the day before, and then it waits another day. And then the actual day of their birthday, it reminds you to create a social post or send a message, social message to the client or customer or whoever it is in your database. And then it actually sends a uh, SMS automatically as well. Now, precursor to tomorrow's challenge, I'll tell you tomorrow we're going to talk about the ability to edit smart plans. And this is one of the texts that I would certainly edit because it doesn't actually identify who it's from. So teaser alert, that's what tomorrow's video will be about as well. Uh, open house follow up smart plan, the ability to reach out to a lead that has come through an open house. So I imagine that this would be something that you would want to send, uh, you know, literally while you are at the open house, maybe at the very end, you do your wrap up you uh, make sure that all of your contacts have been added into command. I would highly recommend that you use a landing page and we'll talk about that in the future here. We'll create a video for that if you've not already watched my previous video on it. Uh, create a open house sign-in landing page so that way people can uh, sign up for your open house and get directly put into command. And then at the end of the open house, you would put all those contacts on this follow-up plan. It would immediately send them a text say, hey, what do you think? It's going to wait a day and then it's going to prompt you to send an email. It says, hey, it was nice to meet you. It's going to wait two days, prompt you to make a phone call, wait three more days, right? And then it's going to send another text. It's going to wait four more days and then it's going to give you a prompt to make a phone call. A three day wait, it sends out another text message. A four day wait with a follow up from an email. Hey, are you still home shopping, still interested? And then it's going to wait three days. And I really like this. It basically from there links to the long-term nurture smart plan. So you can start to see kind of how this is gonna work when we have the ability to create our own smart plans. We can actually create a plan like this one 
that then links to another plan like the long-term nurture. So this is a 20-day that then links to a 180-day plan. So you can see this would literally, these two combined would be 200 days, um, you know, and up to, I think we said uh, this was like 22 steps, even though there's only three touches, right? So that's the open house follow-up plan. I really like this. This is one of the newer plans that has come out. Um, and you can see as uh, KWR continues to develop all the options, these are getting more and more robust, which is pretty exciting. Lastly, we have the home anniversary smart plan. You can see the steps here. Basically, it starts off. Uh, seven days out to remind you to send them a gift or a card. Um, obviously, you have to have their home anniversary and your contact record in order to assign somebody to this smart plan. Um, and then it's going to wait six days. And on the day of, it's going to actually remind you to call them and wish them a happy anniversary. And it'll actually tell you the anniversary date on the task when it pops up. So you can actually see that their home anniversary date colon and then the contact home anniversary date. So got to make sure you put that in your contact record in order to add somebody to the home anniversary smart plan. Similarly, you have to have a contact's birthday in order to add them to that smart plan as well. So that's it for the nine smart plans that Keller Williams has developed so far. Obviously, some of you may be watching this and there may be plenty more and some of you are watching it right now and we only have the nine and yet obviously very impactful and very robust uh, smart plans that have already been created on our behalf. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic Friday. Looking forward to a fantastic weekend and a great start to 2020. As always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.